scapula scapula it has two surfaces this is the lateral surface this is the medial surface it has three borders dorsal border cranial border and caudal border and it has three angles this is the cranial angle caudal angle and this is the ventral angle on lateral side on the lateral surface it has a spine known as scapular spine and this spine ends in a beak like process this beak like process which is known as acromion this is the acromion the spine of scapula it gives attachment to the omotransversarius muscle trapezius muscle and deltoideus muscle the spine of scapula it also divides the lateral surface into two halves this upper surface is called supraspinatus fossa this is supraspinatus fossa and it gives attachment to the supraspinatus muscle whereas this part is the infraspinatus fossa which gives attachment to the infraspinatus muscle the medial surface is divided into two parts this part is the serrated border which gives attachment to the serratus ventralis muscle whereas this part is the subscapular fossa which gives attachment to the subscapular muscles this is the cranial border of scapula which forms scapular notch this part is a scapular notch on the three angles the ventral angle is most important because it forms this glenoid cavity this is the glenoid cavity this is a very shallow cavity and it forms the shoulder joint along with the head of humerus the dorsal border in life it has scapular cartilage which uh, during preservation of this specimen it has been dried off and uh, it's not on the specimen now but this border the dorsal border it gives attachment to the rhomboidus muscle then this is the caudal border this caudal border has this thickening which is for the attachment of teres major muscle and we have this infraglenoid tubercle this infraglenoid tubercle it gives attachment to the teres minor muscle on the ventral angle next to the acetabulum uh, this hole is actually man made this was because it was articulated to a uh, skeleton so that's why this hole is not present in the living animal actually there is articular cartilage on there so over the glenoid cavity we have this supraglenoid tubercle and this supraglenoid tubercle it gives attachment to the bicep brachii muscle this supraglenoid tubercle it has this projection to the medial side which is called coracoid process or coracoid process this coracoid process it gives attachment to the coracobrachialis muscle that's the scapula